Why is everyone going around saying I died, bro? Who's starting these rumors, bro? Who the f this chat started that rumor? Who did it, bro? On God, I went to the mall today and some guy said that he thought I was dead. On God, who's starting this shit, bro? I'm the only one who can fake my death, not y'all, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, he is back and he is claiming that the old Neon is dead. And from the looks of it, people are extremely happy that Neon is back and they're jumping up and down and chanting Neon, Neon. Now, if you're wondering why Neon has facial hair and has the wife beater tank top on, well, he claims that he's been baptized, he's been humbled by the world, and he is slapped back to reality, and he is no longer a boy, he is a man. You're a man? I'm a man, bro. I'm genuinely a man right now. Chat, am I a man? Yes or no, bro? Am I a man? Let me know. I swear to God, after all this happened, I am a man, all right? You're gonna see the whole manly side of me. I'm done getting, I'm done getting pressed. You're gonna see a like chat. My, my balls dropped, bro. They dropped. They genuinely dropped. He came in and he said his balls are saggy right now. He has a beard, the wife tank top beater. He's a badass. He hasn't showered. He is uh, equal to a man right now because of the things that he went through and the things that shaped him. Honestly, watching the whole 18 minute video of this. He hasn't changed. I give it two weeks until he makes another apology video. Definitely still yaps a lot and definitely going to forget this whole thing happened after two weeks and just going to go back to being the same old neon. But before we go into details about the whole thing, let me give you a little bit of context to your goldfish memory. Last week, Neon Sam, they went to Dubai. They started vlogging. They started streaming. After they visited multiple places, they went to this one place called Global Village and they started streaming over there. They have some encounters with some fans. But after a while, the police came and they got arrested. A lot of people gave different reasons for it. But the main reason was, uh, as I said in the past two videos, that it was because they needed a permit to shoot their streaming. These kind of famous places, you need a permit if you want to use professional cameras. You can always use your mobile phones, whatever, but when it comes to professional cameras, you need permits. That's just how the law is, and if people do not want to be in the background, you should delete that video immediately or you're going to get sued for hundreds of thousands of dollars. After Neon was detained, that's when the rumors started going around that Neon has been he's been sent to jail. He's been sentenced to one year in prison. Uh, someone said two days ago that uh, he is he died in the flood in Dubai. Meanwhile, they put a picture of like Sri Lanka or India that had like a I don't know, flood going on. But just 10 hours ago, he did his first live stream for 30 minutes where he talked about the situation, exactly what happened to him. And it is as we predicted, like I told you in the past two videos, how the whole thing's gonna go. So uh, basically, chat, what happened was um, JCV, the sped, um, you know, you know him, idiot. Um, my cameraman, basically, um, I'm not gonna put the blame on him, but... Um, you know, we did some some not good activities there, man. You know, uh, it was not it was not good what we did, and um, we, um, we we were filming in the um, in the areas where we're not supposed to film, and it was not a good situation. It was not a good scenario. Uh, it really wasn't. So um, basically, what happened is um, um, we were recording in the areas that's not good. And, um, where is Sam? Shut up. It was all JCV. Nah, bro, because I put him in the situation. And then, chat, the, the real situation was we, we accidentally filmed the cops, bro. We act- the, the sped- like, his eyes were popping wide open filming the cops where he was, like, excited, bro. I don't know what the f*** he was doing, bro. The idiot filmed the cops. It wasn't his fault, though. I don't blame him. I take full accountability. It was my fault. And honestly, things could have been a lot worse, but I, I, I really appreciate- Like I said in the last video, the permit could have easily been resolved, but the fact that- he filmed the cameraman or him because he definitely told the cameraman whatever happens do not stop shooting this is all content this is the idea the cameraman had in his mind and he just kept on shooting the cops and it got millions of views and the fact that they filmed the police officers faces and they put it on the internet that is a crime and that is where the government forgave them, but the police officers didn't. That's when it caused a lot of problems. And that's one of the reasons in my last videos, I blurred their faces. Because I do not want to be deported, my friend. They're going to send me back to Iran, bro. A lot of people were there for me and shit. A lot of people reached out. And a lot of people actually went fake on me, bro. A lot of people didn't come out, look out for me, didn't try to help. None of that shit, bro. And, hey, trust me, I know who you are, you piece of shit. I have very, very small friends, bro. I have a very, very small friend. I'm very shocked and surprised the fact that Neon doesn't have real friends and everyone around him was fake. It's tr it's truly shocking with the you know personality that he has and the amount of people who are around him who claim to be his friends. And 
I'm sure if someone was in their, you know, in his situation over there, Neon would have definitely reached out to the Dubai police and he would have made things better for him. Um, but you know the funny thing, chat? The funny thing is, the down there knew me, bro. They knew me, chat. I was really welcomed. I was a king in there, bro. I was a king. They were giving me free, like, free beds and like it was fire, bro. It was fire. It honestly made me look at things different. I swear to God, I was ready to. I was ready to just chill there with the boys, bro. Now, I believe him when he said he was there for 37 hours waiting for his, uh, you know, case to be, to see what happens. These things definitely do happen. They keep you for around a day or two or three max to see how the case is gonna turn out. To go to court, talk to a judge, see what's gonna happen. Now here he goes and he says about his friend. He starts yapping, changing the subject saying a lot of ums ums i swear if i sit through this whole stream and i count how many ums this can be a whole game he goes on and he says that he met a couple of cool people some africans over there he made some friends the people you know the police that are there the officers they gave him a bed they knew who he was he was chilling with them he was talking then what basically after 37 hours of being detained that night he was released basically five days ago but he was waiting for the government to clear his things and they said do not film anything until you leave the country then you're allowed to do whatever you want the second you put your feet in uh, the states and he goes on yapping about how much he misses stream his uh, chat he loved everyone in the chat amount of love that he's been receiving all this time it's, it's actually a lot of love that he's been receiving and i'm sure a lot of people are happy that he's back to making daily live streams he also talks about the plans the future of his live streams as well you guys are not gonna run my life anymore i'm done getting bitched by a chat my mom told me she said you're gonna let the chat do what you want you're gonna let the chat tell you to jump off a cliff she literally gave me a speech so i'm not gonna disobey my mom that's one of the least things i'm gonna do so i give it 48 hours actually i give it 24 maybe even few hours until he disobeys the mom and starts doing what the chat tells you to do because end of the day you gotta deliver to the people what they want doesn't matter what you like you, you gotta post something that people would like that's just how it works in content creation social media obviously people have limits if you tell me to do a vlog showering fuck no i will not do a vlog showering but if you tell someone like neon do a vlog showering he will definitely do a vlog showering he also said that aiden ross was there for him he was talking to him and he was trying to make the situation better he said he's one of the real ones out there and honestly i don't know what's happening on the thing you know the internet with aiden ross his someone said he quit streaming i'm still trying to wait for him to make an official statement but his accounts on twitter are posting videos at goodbye aiden maybe this is just a hype up for something big coming up not really sure not gonna make a video about it until i get more uh, you know research about this we'll be going to dubai again very soon chat i will be popping out to dubai again very soon they show me so much love when i left so much hospitality i love them bro i genuinely do bro i genuinely do why are you laughing at me bro y'all laughing at me what's so funny you piece of shit and that's basically about it for neon he's gonna go back to these countries but he's gonna learn the laws and i hope this teaches people, it doesn't matter if you're a streamer or not, once you go to a country, you make sure you know the law, you make sure you follow the law and you respect the culture and everything about it. But one thing I do really want to see, I'm really curious, is Johnny Somali coming to Dubai and doing the things he does. Just being himself in Dubai, I really want to know how it turns out. Nothing will make me happier than seeing the things that he does on his streams in Dubai. That would be gold content to watch and talk about, to be honest. But anyways, yeah, that said, the whole drama is dead. Neon is back. He was never, he was never into like deep shit. Just people wanted to hype things up on the internet. But yeah, that's about it. We are very active on Discord, Instagram, whatever you're into, social media. All the links are down below. If you're not too cool, go click on them and give it a follow and join the Discord channel. Take care of yourself and I will see you at the next one.